Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to this episode of the Ellison Education video series. We're going to convert circles into triangles today in order to study number families and geometric shapes. And if you look at the table, I have circles in a 4 inch size and I have the 8 inch size. Doesn't matter, whatever size you have will work. But first you want to use one of those circles to create a template. And the reason for the template is to find the exact middle of that circle. So what I'm going to do is fold the circle in half and then fold it in half again. And I'll use, when I open it up, I'll use a push pin to indicate and poke through where those two fold lines intersect. That will be the exact middle of that circle. Then I'll use this template in order to mark the middle, the exact center of all the circles for this project. So if you look here, this, if I place this over the top and marked with a pencil through that hole, that's what I did in order to, it's not very dark, but you can see I have a faint pencil line in there. That is important because what I want to do first is I'm going to just fold so that one of the edges just kisses against that pencil line and then crease. Now to get the next fold, I use this fold as my guide and the pencil line as my guide. I want to just kiss it again and start where this fold ended off create another fold line, and then the final fold has to be where these two folds, so that it just will kiss against those two folds, and it will once again just kiss that pencil line. This gives you a perfectly equilateral triangle. Now this triangle is good for so many geometric exercises. If you start with a triangle, and you take one of the vertices, and you place it so that it is just touching the base, you've created a trapezoid. And you can talk about the fact that a trapezoid is now made of three triangles. If I fold again, I've turned the trapezoid into a rhombus or a parallelogram. And if I fold again, I now have a smaller equilateral triangle. If I open it up and make it dimensional, I've created a tetrahedron. And if I lay it back down and I take each of the points and I bring them back into that original pencil line, and fold inside, now I've created a perfectly shaped hexagon. And using these fold lines, if I bring these back up and overlap, now I have a truncated tetrahedron. There's really almost no limitation. Your students can probably come up with several more sections, several more folds that create different geometric shapes themselves. But I thought I would also show you how to use it to use reinforcing number families. So if you look here, in this example, I just used a smaller triangle because I started with a four inch circle. But when I open it up, you can see the relationship between the five, the eight, and the 40. Inside, the students just write all of the number sentences that would apply. So in this example, they have five times eight equals 40, eight times five equals 40, 40 divided by eight equals five, and 40 divided by five equals eight. It really helps them see the relationship between the numbers. You can do this with all the different multiplication and division facts, and it, it so helps them to see that relationship. You know, these learning aids, they're simple to make, but they will help your students visually see the relationship between number families. 